Hello everyone and welcome back to another fantastic episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Hope everyone's having a great day today and before we get started I do want to remind you that we stream these videos live at twitch.tv slash unexpectedly random. We are here Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4. Make sure you follow us on Twitch to join the chaos and check out the streaming schedule for our current lineup. We also have a Facebook and Instagram. Those are the best places to stay up to date with any changes that may occur pertaining to the streaming schedule. And we have a TikTok and a Twitter if you're on those platforms and want to do the thing. Otherwise, let's get going. We are working our way down to the Dracozu area, which uh, should have the last of the three shrines. We've already visited the Shrine of Wisdom and took care of that and did the Shrine of Power. So this should be the Shrine of Courage. Land on this Korok leaf and see what the quest is for this uh, thing. Yeah. I made it. <laughs> So our plan for today is to uh, finish this uh, um, Mother Goddess Statue quest series. And then to go to the Yiga Clan hideout and see if we can take the test or whatever to learn the new skill. Here we go. Yeah, this is definitely the place I was looking for. Hey, a mighty thistle. And an iron shroom. Is this is gonna this is probably gonna be a ferocious claw? Devout swordsman who offers his prayers, will you help me restore the mother goddess statue? Golden Spirit Farosh, who looses lightning as she dances across the heavens. Apparently, Farosh is a female as well. Okay, Farosh's claw offered at this spring. Okay, so. I'm gonna go ahead and set a travel medallion here. So we can come back easily, and then I need to figure out where the best uh, access to Feroche is. And I believe it's going to be on the plateau. Up here. <laughs> Although I would figure Ferocious is probably in the Farin region, which is down here, which explains why. Hmm. I do not know, but we need to do the shrine, so we might as well. Of course, this is the one that's underwater. Or under this thing. You have to go under the th the thing to get to the thing. Uh, let's go do this one, because that'll give us two more uh, full sets of orbs, and then maybe we'll see Feroche as we're entering and exiting. Since we have our travel medallion, it'll be easy to get back. And even if we didn't, there's that shrine right on top that we started from today. Or in this episode. Into the shrine. Second guess myself there for a moment. Long or wide, deep and wide, deep and wide. There's a mountain blowing deep and wide. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. 
All right. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't that hard. All right, so this one is gonna need some extra weight to get the uh, to get the womp really properly womped. And I'm gonna make sure it's stuck as low as possible. And up we go. Because I was, uh, yeah. Boink. Right. You're coming with me. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, we have to go left and we have to go right. Oh, the left opens the right. Okay. Fusions are large, but uh... Confusion is great. Understand nothing. <laughs> it's back. <laughs> Just <laughs> poof. It's like a magician doing a magic trick by himself. I can't use devices here. 
Okay. What? supposed to use it to make some kind of a ramp here maybe there's nothing to stick it to so that wouldn't actually help some convoluted technique that I just uh, thought of. Let you guess what didn't work. <laughs> well, is there maybe something up here in that door where this came from? You know. catch on something on the way up and
Well, now it won't catch on anything, but it's probably going to be really front heavy. I figured it out. <laughs> That's why it was so uh, long or wide. The shadow moves to the side, opposite the light when you rotate it. <laughs> See, that was getting frustrating, <laughs> that shrine there. But it was still cool because when I was able to actually figure it out the intended way, I'm pretty sure. And it was challenging, so... That's the big thing for me because they there's there's a tendency for things to not be challenging. Ah, that's a that's a feroce, isn't it? That is okay. Pin him. All right, so he's going in there. We can go to Poplar. We need a claw for us. We're gonna have to chase him into the depths, but it's fine by me. All right, I see his tail. Um, no, I don't see his tail, but. Uh, There we go. Let's go glide suit, I guess. And there was a uh, shooting star. See you landed over there. Too bad we're not looking for shooting stars. We're looking for. Uh, shooting Feroche Claws. Hi there, buddy. Um, just hold a second. Oh. 
Dive. Oh, hey, you get clan outpost. Stop it. Oh, and there's still Yigas here. <laughs> um, not what I anticipated fa falling into, walking into, words. Hold on, I think I can actually... I can do a thing with this, though. Um... I am now Yigit. You guys don't care, right? He cares. He cares. He definitely cares. Definitely still cares. Okay. You know, if he hit me, that would have been really, uh... Really bad. Because <laughs> it would have done a lot of damage. Okay. Um... Be gone, foul beast. I heard you like fire. <laughs> Let's go, Minoru. <laughs> We've received reports of sounds coming from inside the large wall to the southwest. Specifically, they're coming from the striped wall that extends up to the ceiling. Search the depths for some sort of entry point, but to no avail. Were the sounds a figment of our imagination? Or could it be there's an entrance somewhere else? If only we had a map of this place, we could know for sure. Glory to Master Koga. Wall to the left. So, that would be... Maybe an entrance under the lake? Ouch. The supplies got all covered in gloom. Yay. Hey, Kerhu! Welcome to the stream. We're uh, trying to get ourselves set up to join the Yiga clan. Those guys that we just beat up. We're going to be attempting to join them soon. Oh, there's the light root there. Let's go ahead and grab that light root. That'll light up this area and give us a better view of what's going on. Perfect. I said the striped wall. Is it this side that they're talking about? Is it over here, which has to be accessed through the Hylia Chasm? And apparently, I didn't. Uh... I didn't get that. Or maybe everything around here was enough to light this area up, but this one's got its own light root. I'm not sure. I think we need to go back over there and reread that. It's much nicer with the lights turned on, though. 
All right. Um. Mr. Yiga even uh, control this thing. There we go. Okay. Um, let's get rid of those so I don't have to spike myself. Large wall to the southwest. Striped wall up to the ceiling. Southwest. Southwest. This way. So it's right here. So we do have to go through the, uh... This chasm. The, or not this chasm, but, uh... The Lake Hylia chasm. That one. So, no plans there. We got our Feroche thing, so we need to... Um... Put these guys away. And then go to our dupe chasm. Our super duper chasm. So we can super duper some feroce claws. And then we'll go back, because then we don't have to collect the claws again. We'll go back to the spring. Hand that off, then we'll go back to the Forgotten Temple and check on that, see if anything has changed. And then we'll go see about getting the... joining the Yiga clan. Uh, it's going to be all the way at the end. No, hold on, this is by use. Now it'll be all the way at the end. Hey, look. That's not what I wanted. Feroche Claw. Um, boink. And we're stuck. Oh, that's right. I've only got one of them. I forgot. So we'll go ahead and do some Nadra as well. While we're here. Might as well not waste a uh, dupe set. Look at all the glow. See if I get it far enough over there like I did. As long as they're not terribly round. They won't uh, slide down the hill. Mm. There we go. Still got it. Alright, 21 and 17, that is more than enough. We'll zip over here, Rick, to the spring of courage. <laughs> Give those! <laughs> they are super creepy. Give those are. All right, let's go donate some of this ferocity, ferocity, fer, fer, ferocity. <laughs> Drop. Yay. Thank you, devout swordsman. I have sent a measure of my strength to the mother goddess statue. For this pious deed, I shall bestow upon you a small blessing. Here is some topaz. Solve it. Because it gives me the elemental stone that matches the elemental dragon that I dropped the part from. 
With your aid, a measure of our strength has gone to restore the mother goddess statue who dwells in the vast canyon. You should make a pilgrimage there in tribute. Okay. Oh, new objective? The mother goddess statue. Answering the pleas you heard from the goddess statues at the springs of wisdom, power, and courage has apparently restored the mother goddess statue. They directed you to visit the mother goddess statue in the forgotten temple. Well then, we'll just zip on over there and uh, say hi. Yay. And then it's off to the Yiga clan with us. Well, first we'll cash in our Lights of Blessing, and then it's off to the Yiga clan. Now is our... Bows are good. Mushrooms. Whoa. She's standing once more. That's pretty cool. How many, uh... The quality is so much less than... Just... Than, than what, what you're looking at in person. She's real sparkly. Hi, I'm here. Devout swordsman who offers his prayers. I am deeply grateful for the aid you have provided to the statues of the springs. In recognition of your wisdom, power, and courage, I should like to present you with a sword. I don't have room for a sword right now. Kindly organize your belongings so that another sword may fit among them and return to me once this is done. Oh, this is cool. I wonder if it's going to be the uh, the white sword. Um, Yeah, we'll go ahead and just drop this one. Blink. I'm grateful the aid you provided the statues of the spring. I bestow this. It is the white sword of the sky. That is super cool. <laughs> a sword said to have once belonged to a hero from the sky. Its beautiful white blade stands out. When it's wielded, a strange yet heavenly breeze kicks up around you. Go and bring peace to the world. That's awesome. See, we've had the sword of the sky before. Um, because we got it from the amiibo drop, but it was a surprise amiibo drop. I didn't know that it existed. So that was that was really cool. We'll see. Just like that, we have the, the white sword of the sky sword, because we've had a few of them drop and fused them together. Pretty cool. Now, can I pray here and uh, get my, my lights of blessing swapped? Yes. Four lights of blessing. Make it a stamina. Yes, please. Flip. Yay, stamina. Stamina? Yes, please. More stamina. Restore some of the stamina you lost to the gloom. Go and bring peace to the world. Okay. 
<laughs> All right, so the next place we need to go is this place right here, which is behind a waterfall. This means we go to the Grudo Canyon Skyview Tower. Effective strategy is to aim directly at the driver or try to overturn your vehicle the vehicle so the driver falls off. Hey, it's Pakango! I see he's still drawing the uh, platforms. Shape really draws my eye. Do you think it's natural? Or maybe. Ah. No, it's you. How are you holding up against the heat? Preparation is key. Wouldn't be able to paint here if not for the chilly elixirs I brewed in advance. Interested in my painting process? It's a small island. See, I wondered if he'd say something different. Granted, you can't see very well when the clouds are in the way. Huh. Ever since the upheaval, that one's kind of neat. And let's, uh, yeah. Does it represent anything? That is a flower. It's my destiny to capture the essence of sky flora and paint. That's the thought that guides my brush as it dances across the canvas. Cool. Hey, it's hot. Now it's not. All right, see that big waterfall? That's where we're going, but first. Let me take a selfie. You thought you had gotten away with it. There is apparently um this Just fell down. There it is. There's a whole nother set of, uh, poses you can get. And if you're wondering how to do that, just hold uh, ZL and then do your pose direction. And if you're on a pose direction, pressing ZL will switch to that corresponding direction. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, head off here and then turn all these guys back on because I forgot to do what I was doing because I got distracted by taking a selfie because I'm hilarious. <laughs> it may be a self-proclaimed hilarity, but it's hilarious all the same. Presumably this bridge here will lead me to where I need to be going. I 
guess I can probably climb back up here pretty easy, right? And let's follow the cave. That looks like a talus. And sad th oh, I was gonna see. Mm -hmm. We'll set a we'll set a fast travel marker once we get in here a bit. I can take this one off the spring. Well, I might as well just uh, set one now, I guess. Smell a bubble frog. <laughs> now we have enough of those we can give to Colton. Okay, so... Oh, now the Talus wants to come out to play. You're done. You know what? I think you need to have a talus heart. Um, this one. And, uh, it's a rare stone talus heart. Go ahead and get a screen cap of that. Screen cap Alapagus. So that's a pretty good indication to me that uh, this is not where we go. So, bearing that in mind, we're going to go find a fairy. And see if these weapons can be upgraded. Or these, not weapons, armor can be upgraded. I'd kind of like to have the Yiga set upgraded a bit before we uh, adventure into the uh, Yiga clan challenge. You know? Because I assume I'm going to have to have my Yiga stuff on for the whole thing. Hey, this is the first fairy fountain that we, uh, unlocked. Maybe I'm imagining it, but my throat doesn't feel quite right. Perhaps it's because of the glue. Mm -hmm. Came to me to have your clothing uh -huh. enhanced, right? Okay. <laughs> yes. Octorok eyeballs. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough. Uh -huh. We're gonna have to go do...
Fire Lizolfo Tail and Puff Shrooms. Okay. Well. Bye. I'm not going to concern myself with upgrading it yet. Because to go through and, and duplicate all those things, it's going to be a little tedious. We'll go in and see how the battle goes, or how the test goes. And see what happens. was down below. Let's have ordinary mushroom. And let's move this down to here, actually. Um, go ahead and delete that. That'll work. You're Yiga Clan, huh? All right, come in. Yiga Blade Master Station. Well, hello, sir. Don't mind the constructs that are uh, spawning. Is there no one capable? This is the Yiga Blade Master Station. This is where Yiga Blade Masters are made and unmade. <laughs> you brave the elements to take this first step. That speaks well of your passion to become a Blade Master. Mm -hmm. But my exam is more rigorous still. Do you have within you do you have it within you to succeed? Will you try and give it your all? Mm -hmm. Oh, wonderful. Well then, listen closely to my words. The test is unforgiving. This is what you oh. must do. In Gerudo Canyon, there are five frog statues with the identifying marks of the Yiga clan. I will reveal the locations. Oh. You must travel to the five frogs and make an offering of mighty bananas to each one. Mm. The harsh land will lash you mercilessly with its cold and heat. Your travels may prove your end, but if you succeed, I will name you Blade Master. Furthermore, I will personally give you these mighty bananas. Mm. Cool. I have no more bananas to give for now. If you need more, a true blade master is expected to find their own. Now, let the test begin. Cool. So, because I'm sure everybody wants to know, and because I want to know, what happens if I switch out of this outfit in here? Hi. Oh? Hmm. I feel like I know you from somewhere, but I'm drawing a blank. But who you are is not oh. important. Though members of the Yiga clan should take care to keep themselves presentable. What? Mm. The Yiga clan is expanding. We can always use a few more outstanding blade masters. See the exam through and you could be of great service to Master Koga. That is so cool. I figured he'd kick me out or something. Sweet. Um, okay. <laughs> That's super cool. I'm, I'm actually, I'm quite happy that that was how that, uh, how that went. All right, so... The fast travel spot here will make for returns really easy. I need to click on that so I can track these. There is... There's a frog. There's a frog. Oh, frog under the bridge. Or on the bridge, maybe? Let's check on the bridge first, and then we'll check under the bridge. 
looks like it's going to be under the bridge, but let's take a look at this frog first. Okay, this one has lights on it, so... I gather that this is the frog in question. Old banana. You shall have banana. Yay! You have banana. Um... <laughs> going up. It was way far out of reach for using Ascend, so I'll just use Super Ascend, which is more of a Descend, I guess. When you teleport to the same location you're currently in, it seems it doesn't need to load much. Alright, there's one over on the edge of Mount Naboru. There's one up here that looks like it's basically on the same level. So I'm on a whole nother level. <laughs> I think that's a song. I'm almost certain that's a song, I'm just not sure what it's for or from. It's not the same level, but it's pretty close, so we'll get this one first. It's gonna get cold before too long. And where is my frog? should be right here, but it's not right here, so it's below me. Uh, Geronimo. I see... Is that a sand waterfall? Which would not be a sand waterfall, it would be a sandfall. Because if it were a sand waterfall, it would just be a waterfall. Frog. Enjoy the bananas. Okay, we can ascend here. Okay, I see this conveniently placed rock here. First, this other conveniently placed rock. <laughs> Yeet. All right. Up we go. Seriously? Like, not even. I'm currently testing. Alright. So there's one up there, one over there, and one over there. Do we just take the... I think if we just go airborne on the tower, that's going to be the easiest way to get to each one. to switch to our cold gear here before too long. Alright, this way first we are already freezing.
me guess inside excuse me I'm going to kill this Octorok. And I will have no remorse about it. I'm going to... I'm going to not just destroy him, I'm going to destroy his entire bloodline. I'm gonna make him wish he had never been born. Thank you. Okay, I thought I was being smart, but it seems like maybe I wasn't. Oh, but I was. <laughs> Sorted. There's banana. <laughs> banana. Yay. Banana. There's got to be more to this than just the test of whether you can put bananas in front of frogs. Oh, there's a thing up at Spectacle Rock we're supposed to be doing. Take a picture of it while it's smiling or something. Not entirely sure what that means. Maybe it's when the sun's a certain, uh, makes at a certain angle, it makes it look like it's smiling. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that was a uh, quest for the thing. A stable picture quest. All right, let's go to Spectacle Rock. Actually, let's land on this platform here. I'm sorry, sir, but uh, I'm not going to have you scare away my uh, fairy. Fine. And the rest of you, I'm not going to have you scare away the other fairies. I was going to see if I had a picture of it, but we'll do that later. Because if I did that, I would stand up, and then I'm pretty sure I'm close enough that it would scare the fairy away. Come here, fairy. Come down and say hi. Please. Please. <laughs> Got it. All right. I 
satellite dragon. Nope, that's Ferrosh. Nice. Can't take a picture in the air. Oh, there's Colton. Fascinating. Um Yeah, by the time we get the Yiga banana stuff done. <laughs> Caught it in the air. I love doing that. if these were here normally like if you could have stumbled across them if you were in the area banana well that looks fun in the direction I need to go anyway, so we'll try it. Might be able to get there before 4. Pretty sure he closes up shop at 4. It's gonna be close. Yes, please. Two, two glia wings. Slurp. I feel something bubbling up from deep inside me, I think. More! Give me more bubble jams! I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, what's the next price? A Lionel mask. What's the price? Four, four gems. Cool. Interesting. All right, so we're going in that direction, roughly. Okay, so it's going to be in a cave under this. So then we're going in this direction, roughly. can find some kind of... Hey, that's probably the cave. Let's go check out this uh, place, though. Hello. As you can see, my husband is too sick to move. I'm caring for him here. This is my fault. I wanted the two of us to have a wedding adventure. That has now proved to be unwise. He has a weak constitution by nature. Once before, he collapsed from illness. A kind traveler helped me treat him then. That was probably me. Previously. I've since pushed myself to know the ways of medicine. It was only a matter of time before he would need more help. The return of my husband's illness is my fault, but I know 
what it will take to heal him this time. Medicine made from Gliok guts. Hmm. And Gliok is a horrible creature that flaps across the sky using huge wings. I know there's one that flies over Gerudo Canyon, but attacking it would be difficult. I need to prepare somehow. I would take on a Gliok if I could, but I bring shame upon myself just standing here. Okay, let's see how many guts of the Gliok we have, because I think we only have one. That's why I didn't, uh, yeah, why I didn't offer it. So we'll have to dupe that before we go handing it out. Tumbleweeds sometimes have stuff in them. How far away is that shrine? It's a ways. Maybe we'll get it on the way out. Yeah, we'll grab it on the way out. Let me put a pin on it. If you like it, then you should have put a pin in it. <laughs> That's not how the song goes, is it? Wow, this is quite the mine. What kind of horror blends are we going to find in here? We're not. They're like likes. Guess what? Oh, I have a proposition for you. Look what I brought. Enjoy. Somebody told me they enjoy eating bomb flowers. Slurp. Gerudo Claymore. I think not, but here's another box. Bomb flowers. Are you an ordinary like like? Or are you a rock like like? You're an ordinary like like. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> Get splashed. Oh, guess what? I have something for you. It's a present. Enjoy! Try his present. Tulin was too quick. A radiant shield, double guard up. But it's not double dura, although it is better than the existing shield I have, so I'll take it. I heard the squishy sounds of another like like. There was another entrance over here. 
Interesting. Not really useful, but interesting. I found my frog. Please be an ordinary like like. And it's an ordinary like like. What is the purpose for coming up here? Is there any purpose? Nice shot. Bubble frog, bubble frog, <laughs> bubble frog. We got a bubble frog alert. Hi. Kind of a little one. Bonk. Time. Hold on. I think this was the entrance. <laughs> got that shrine before. Okay, well that makes that easier. Um, let's go ahead and put the Yiga stuff back on so we can... I don't know that we necessarily need it, but uh, it just seems right, you know? Quickly get out of the sun before you melt. <laughs> Hello. Mm. You Yiga Clan, huh? All right, come in. So I'm guessing if I'm not wearing my Yiga Clan outfit, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't get through the door. But if I'm already in here, he's uh, not so worried about it. Oh. Finally, you've returned after making the necessary offerings. My intelligence sources have confirmed Ooh. it. You passed the Blade Master exam. Have a reward for your assuming the mantle of Blade Master. You are permitted to step into the inner sanctum. This reward is valuable and only found in the depths. You should know that it is a great honor to receive one. Pay no heed to the strange glowing ruins you may find inside. We haven't yet decided what to do about mm. them. What's important is your your hard work in overcoming the Blade Master exam. All glory to Master Koga. Okay. Oh. You're now officially a blade master. Why not go visit the hideout to spread the good news? Remember, it's in Carusa Valley, north of Gerudo Town. For anyone else, I'd say that's quite a journey, but given what you're capable of, you'll be fine. Besides, it's important that the Yiga clan knows we have a new blade master to look up to. I, I want I want your outfit. Don't I get the, the blade master outfit now? <laughs> my, my blade's as big as you, Mr. Blade Master. Okay, Carusa Valley. So it's up in here. So if we go up here, we can jump off 
and uh, zoom over there. We'll probably get hot again, and we'll have to change, and then change back, and it'll be great. Or I could eat something slash drink something that would reduce my uh, my heat problems. It's probably what I should do. Oh, this one's in the snow. Hey, did you know it's unbearably cold? That's yeah, not gonna be enough. Okay, now I should probably mark where I'm going. Somewhere in here. Talents. Okay, this is probably close enough. I can put my Yiga pants back on. Boulders. Now, theoretically, nobody's going to attack me on my way up here. Because I'm the new Yiga Blade Master. Who's our next member? Mm? Are you sure that equipment fits you? You want to wear it so that your stomach really strains the fabric, just like Master Gogus does. <sighs> anyway, I'm keeping out an eye out for a Nemesis Link, so could you give me some space over here? Stylish person! <laughs> That's awesome. do is follow the frogs. Based on that interaction alone, I think it's pretty clear that I do successfully blend in with the Yiga clan members. Wow, it's a long walk. of things. Let's go ahead and go to the map. And let's get rid of this dot. And pull this travel medallion. And yeah, we'll wait till we get closer. This is probably a good spot, because there's a person here that says uh, something, we'll drop this, and then we'll also save here. There's a shrine of light nearby. The Yiga clan hideout. Mimos. Hey, um, so I've heard that I could learn this really cool move here. I think it's called the Earthwake Technique. Get lost. Only Yiga clan members may enter this place. <laughs> and I want to join you. I heard you guys could teach me some cool moves that'd have everyone swooning over me. Mm. To join us is to become a part of a collective shrouded in secrecy, our lives sworn to Master Koga. Who you were before matters not, only your strength, your loyalty, and your skill for espionage. 
Find our three branches and collect the clan attire. Earn your place among us and the door will open to you. Maybe then we'll teach you our moves. Now go away. Huh? Go away? I don't get a hint about where the branches are or even a peek at what the Yiga clan wears. Hey, come on, you've got to be kidding. My mom said, I know my sweet little Mimos will pass the Yiga test first try. That's why I came all the way out here. Not only did I not pass, I didn't even get past the front gate. Mm. But if I do join the Yiga clan, then I'll be able to learn some cool moves. If I could bust them out, I bet everybody would be like, Wow, Mimos, you're so handsome and cool. Hmm? Huh. Whoa, a real live Yiga. Uh. Awesome, I've never seen one in person before. So that's the Yiga outfit, huh? Looks even more stylish than I thought. Okay, that settles it. I'm finding those branches and getting those duds. Then those cool Yiga moves will be all mine. Oh man, I'm gonna be so popular! Get out of the way. Let me in. Mm. Alright, come in. <laughs> well, that was easy. I am here. This place looks a little bit different than the last time I was here. Oh, this is the seven heroines, isn't it? Three, four, five, six, seven, I think. Ooh, it's like a full-on, like, sort of city thing going on here. This is cool. That fearless demeanor. I heard you had promise, but I didn't think you'd earn your place, let alone rise to Blademaster. Mm. A splendid feat. But don't let your title bloat your ego. Stay faithful to the cause with a sharp blade and silent heart. I imagine you're well acquainted by now, but this hideout is the linchpin of the Yiga Clan's subterranean expansion. It's where we train our members, develop our special vehicles, and do whatever else needs doing. I hope you'll find this place can serve you as well as you can serve it. We're grateful to have you, Blade Master. Sweet. Bananas. Hi. <laughs> Just couldn't resist, could you? You may be young, but you know quality. A true banana man, I see. Mm. Gotta restock. Need some bananas to offer to Master Koga. <laughs> Banana goodness coming right up. You want every last one? All six will be 120 mm. rupees. Got enough to tide you over? No, I need more bananas. 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 I must have bananas. All right, let's go talk to this guy. What does this guy have to say? Sniff, Master Koga. Oh, you got eight-fold long blades. Cool. Wait. This is... No, I guess there's other places you can... Buy weapons. Are you selling a spiky thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I love my little spikes. There's something so deliciously dangerous about having them around. Hey, jerk. <laughs> Anyone ever tell you it's rude to stare? Don't tell me you're here to get some spikes of your very own. I'm spike shopping. I just respiked, restocked my spiky babies too. I guess they are for sale, so I can't really stop you. Hand over a hundred rupees. Okay. Now I need to rebuild my spike collection. Thank you. I don't know what I need it for, but I got it. Ooh, arrows. Oh. 35 for 10. Pretty sure that's more than even beetle charges. Unless beetles are bundles of five. And in which case, this would be significantly cheaper than anywhere else. That there are arrows. Cool. Alright, presumably... That direction is training. That's storage. Oh, I guess, uh... Hmm. I guess I could fuse... This onto my shield. That's probably not a bad idea. Yeah, I like that. Alright, I guess I'm going this way.
Why did you lock up the bananas? No, don't mind me, I'm just, uh... Wait, what? Oh... Nope, that would not be it. So just mount this tire here and fix it real tight so it won't come off. Uh? Hey, can you stop looming? I can't focus if you just stand there all silently. Can't you see the depths team left me an armored vehicle oh. to fix? You're interested in this ranging roadster? My fiendish, fiendish armor-clad masterwork? The gloom dredger? I'm interested. Aww. If you really won't take no for an answer, I could sell you one for 999 rupees. You're Blade Master, aren't you? Ha! <laughs> For you, I'll let you go for much cheaper, 500 rupees. As long as you tell me your thoughts on how to improve this vicious vehicle. Oh, and don't tell anybody you got it for me. It'd be bad for me if this got out. Sure. Oh. That certainly is 500 rupees. <laughs> this marks the beginning of a very rewarding friendship. Let me know what needs tuning and we'll make the gloom dredger oh. even more monstrous than ever. Product in question is outside. Follow me this way. The gloom oh. dredger. There it is. Tires and all. Take it. Oh, it's, uh... You just sent me outside. Bro. That's so disrespectful. <laughs> I assume since I bought it, it's going to stay out there, but, uh, maybe not. This is really cool, being in here when they're all working on stuff, and... Painful. Okay, there's the the side area that I was looking at. Banana. Sneaky elixir. That was a lot more involved than uh, than it should have been for that. Okay. What are you working on? Tell me. Between that tasteless gloom dredger and this hover doom mark three, definitely the hover doom. Oh. <laughs> the easiest question you'll ever answer. 
However, Doom Mark III is a whole different beast from that all-show number over there. Simplicity with a dash of recklessness. Now that's how you craft a dangerous weapon. <laughs> Brand new one for 99 rupees. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you scratch my back, you all scratch yours. Help me out, I'll give you a hover doom for 50 rupees. Keep it between us. Sure. Mm. Glad someone around here recognizes quality. Might be looking for some back scratching in the future. We're in the public eye here. Come on, pretend like you don't know me and follow me out. <laughs> oh. Brand new, complete with steering stick. Take it. Beautiful. I wonder if he's looking at the other one like what why is this out here? Why did 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 you buy this? Did you already have one of these? I did not really want to run all the way through here three different times. <laughs> But I've got a couple of rides out there, so that's cool. Right, let's save here if I can. I can. Okay. Ooh, I wonder if they still have bananas up here. I mean, we. We still have bananas. Bananas? Ooh, a notebook. And a bananas. Read the Lightning Helm Journal. Yes, of course. Thunderhelm has been passed down from one Gerudo chief to the next for generations. Though we were briefly able to steal this electric shock repelling helm, it was quickly retaken. We had mistaken their chief's youth for naivete and paid the price for it in return. Or in turn. Makila Riju is not to be taken lightly. She has a first name? Makila? That's awesome, but also confusing. Makila Riju. Riju. Makila. Makila is so much easier to say because the 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 J is kind of a like a like a I don't know how to describe it, but it's her name's pronounced uniquely Makila. <laughs> That's awesome. Though our time with the Thunderhelm was brief, we did manage to, co to complete a thorough analysis of it. Finding lightning-resistant materials was no small feat, but I suppose that makes sense for the Gerudo Sacred Heirloom. Even with the metals and gems on hand, however, we still cannot seem to replicate the techniques used to graft it. I've been struck by lightning more times than I can count. I've felt my soul flicker on the boundary between life and death. Just as my body neared its limits, one of our intelligence officers shared some promising news. While disguised as a traveler, he hit it off with the fledgling tailor and learned about a special stitching technique. We applied that technique to our own helm, and for the first time, it repelled lightning. Our lightning helm was born. Just as the Gerudo's sacred heirloom was said to be selective about its users, so too is our lightning helm. Our inconsistent results were not merely technological, but contingent upon the helm's compatibility with its user. Though I had hoped to train someone to wear the helm, the many electric shocks I've suffered have taken their toll. My body is at its end, and my chance to name a successor is long past. Though I could make only one, I leave this world dreaming of the day that a member of our clan dons the lightning helm. Long last brings... And at long last brings the royal family of Hyrule to ruin. Okay. So, where, where is it? Where did you put the lightning helm? Birch? Well, hi. Ooh, I see. I see. Interesting. Interesting. 
Let's see, it'll be cool to get the lightning... Oops. The lightning helm from them, and then go back to see Riju, or Makila, and see, uh... what she has to say about it. Because I don't think the lightning helm showed in the... in Gerudo Town anywhere. That gate's closed. Let's talk to him first and see what he has to say. You know, you look a lot like... Uh, a lawful lot like Master Koga's arch enemy, Link. Or at least your blasted blonde hair does. Listen. You do know why we wear uniforms, right? Hey, Hawk Frost! Welcome to the chat! Welcome to the stream! How are you doing today? You do know why we wear uniforms, right? To look uniform. <laughs> when you think of the Yiga clan emerging from the shadows... Thanks for following! Rock on! When you think of the Yiga clan emerging from the shadows, you think of them as a fearsome, largely identical unit. I mean, yeah, okay. Some of us are a bit bulkier than others, but that link-like hair of yours sticks out like a sore thumb. <laughs> so you know what? I'm not gonna let you in here. Not at least not until you learn how to fall in line. Mm. Get yourself to our training ground on top of that tower. They'll teach you how to act right. <laughs> Make it through our training and I guess I'll let you in. If you come back alive, that is. Fascinating. Well, I think I think I'll be able to come back alive, but uh Let's see. Here, here. This way. I may be sliding off from the platform. Hopefully I'm just sliding down. Okay, I'm good. Hello, sir. Aww. So you're the Yiga who made Blade Master faster than anyone else in history. This is where we mortals train. I won't begrudge your title. You're clearly capable. But you're a newcomer to my arena, and I'll treat you as such. Now, newcomer, Zelda's disappearance has provided us with an opportunity to crush Hyrule's spirit once and for all. Aww. But her appointed swordsman... Link is still out there alive and kicking. Stubborn little wretch. Hence our intensive training. He's a formidable warrior, and we'll all need to hone our skills to take him down. Oh. If you value your life, I recommend you do the same. Blade Master title or no. Show enough promise. Ah. And I'm and you might even earn our precious lightning helm. It's our sacred treasure, completely resistant to electricity. But because it's such a powerful piece of armor, it can only be handled by those who have been properly trained. We'll start, we train by sparring with our fellow Yiga. We set a timer, and the combatants just keep coming. You'll earn better and better prizes based on the number of opponents you defeat. Let's see, if we really want to measure your strength, show me you can defeat three combatants in under a minute. Training fee is typically 100 rupees, but since you're new to this, I suppose your first round can be free. <laughs> know that should you take this challenge, there's no turning back. You must fight until the time limit, or your life, expires. I like your spirit. Let's start the training. All hands prepare for combat. Attack the newcomer as if he were Link himself. For Master Koga! Oh, it's just in this area. Weird. All right. Oh, I should probably pick up the pace. <laughs> I forgot I was supposed to be beating oh. three of them in, in a minute. I was just having fun with my spiky shield. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. I'm impressed you're still standing. You defeated three of our fighters, just as I hoped you would. I actually defeated four, but the last one hadn't completely uh, died <laughs> before you ended the timing. Not bad for a newcomer, I suppose. Take this. You've earned it. 
Sweet, the Yiga fabric. Watching you fight, it seems like you could take down six oh. Yiga members next. Oh. Yes. The more you train, the more you nourish your mind and body. It's always a good idea to sharpen oh. your skills. On the line is our Earthwake technique, capable use of which marks you as a true member of the Yiga clan. Of course, to prove yourself worthy of such a prize, you would have to defeat six combatants. Think you're up for it. Easy. Oh. Easy. Lemon squeezy. Ah? Attack if this was Link himself. Well, I got news for you guys. This is Link himself. Zoom. Um, excuse me? You guys are so, uh, fragile. That's six. Six and thirty seconds. Ah. Oh. Not too bad. Mm. Huh, another target smashed. Impressive. Clearly, you've got some real oh. promise. Well done. You've shown you are worthy to learn our secret technique. Accept this teaching with an attentive mind and ready heart. Sweet. I'm a true Yiga member now. An esoteric manual that reveals the secret of the Earthwake technique known only to Yiga Blade Masters. It's a move that involves executing a charge attack with no weapons. At this point, though no member of the Yiga clan has done so before, I believe you could take on nine combatants. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Sure, why not? Thunderhelm. Nine combatants. Yeah, that sounds uh, that sounds pretty pretty doable, considering we got six in half the time, so we should be able to get nine in forty-five seconds or so. Mm. Ah. Ah. All right. Did I do it? I must have done it. Oh. I wasn't keeping track. <laughs> That'll work. And that gets the Thunder Helm. <laughs> mm. Many capable fighters have trained in this arena, but you're the first to defeat nine of your peers. If you're this talented, you might even be a match for that nefarious swordsman, Link. Well, that is true. I, I do think I'm probably a match for him. You're clearly more gifted than I dared imagine. Come now and receive our sacred treasure. So, if I put this on here, are they going to get mad because I'm no longer Yiga? Because I'm not wearing my full Yiga outfit? The Yiga copied a precious heirloom passed down among the Gerudo to craft this helm, adorned with topaz that deflects lightning. Ah. Be ever diligent in your training for Link's defeat and the honor of Master Koga alike. Sweet. Well, if we can save... Okay. Then let's, uh, let's find out. Equip. Can't believe it's his now. Oh. Never thought I'd see the day one of my pupils would don that helm. Oh. Now, even without a prize on the line, your devotion to Master Koga has you eager, eager oh. to train. I like it. To reward your admirable ambition, I will waive your training fee. But know this, should you enter the arena, there will be no quitting till all is said and done. Aww. Nah. That doesn't mean you can't, you can shirk your training, not here, nor on your own. So then the follow-up of this is just to take this off completely. Ah? Yes, it's like the Gerudo town. 
You, how did you make it in here? You won't get back out. Hmm, I got to... Hold on, guys. If we're gonna be doing this, I'm gonna be properly equipped for it. <laughs> None of this, uh, low-quality Yuga equipment. Oh, am I attached to... Oh, you're gonna Earth... You're gonna Earth wake me? Is that what you're gonna do? <laughs> oh, he's gonna Earth wake me. Get Earth waked. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I love that it's blue rather than red. You know, these guys could be real formidable if they would actually uh, put their technique into practice. There we go. <laughs> that was awesome. So, that successfully answered that question, and that uh, was kind of entertaining, really. All right. Now we'll go back in and go through that doorway that the one guy said he wouldn't let me through unless I was proved myself strong enough. Mm. All right, come in. I assume if I talked to them at that door um, and was was not wearing my Yiga outfit, they'd be like, "No, you're Link. We'll attack you." Um, yeah, we already heard this. That you draw. Uh, mm, yeah, pretty sure that's the same thing you told us before. Yay! Earthquake! <laughs> See, the nice thing about that, even though it's not terribly. It doesn't seem to be terribly strong, although it did put a dent in that Blade Master. Um, if your weapon breaks in the middle of a battle, then you can just earthquake and then at the very least it kind of stuns them for a moment so you can recover well i'm gonna do the proper yiga thing and eat copious amounts of bananas <laughs> all right oh you're gonna let me through now you know you look like link or at least your hair does as long as you can earn your keep, I suppose I can ignore the Link look. We really are short on hands. Anyway, hurry on in. Hurry on in. Bananas! Look at all the bananas. I'm King Banana. Hello. If you have time to laze about here, then you have time to help. We still don't have enough supplies for our bases and depths. That Link jerk wreaked havoc at the branches and interrupted our supply of food and materials. Meanwhile, the folks down in the depths are all running around trying to get things back in order. I'm supposed to be an agent of combat and destruction. Why am I stuck doing this? Some fools keep yammering on about how Master Koga has fallen, but Master Koga is indestructible. That's why I'm going to do everything I can to protect the Yiga clan until he's back. Cool. Do you need more bananas? Ah, never ends. How many how many times must I go back and forth between the depths and the surface? Between this and that other thing, all of this is Link's fault. Who's Link? Ah. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Link is Zelda's appointed swordsman. He's always getting in our way. Every chance he gets, that guy is a real pain. But not for long. The Yiga is tightening its net over all over Hyrule. I'm sure we'll hear news of his death any day now. <laughs> He'll never expect that we're disguising ourselves as trees to ambush him. He's done for. So is that what the sentient trees are about? Or if that is that just some of the trees will have Yiga 
soldiers in them. Interesting. Hello, sir. The way you carry yourself. You must be the one I've heard all the stories about. You've got a reputation for being the chosen user of the Lightning Helm. Nobody else could handle that thing. Wear it everywhere you go and show off its power as much as you can to honor our great Master Koga. Rumors are swirling that Master Koga was defeated by Link. Impossible. Do not concern yourself with these lies, but redouble your devotion. Okay, so you want me to you want me to wear the helmet? I'll do that. Oh. The depths are as good as ours. It's all thanks to Master Koga finding and surveying it before anyone else. Yeah, we kind of threw him down into the depths, so you should at least give Link some credit. Do not concern yourself with these lies. Our number of bases in the depths only continues to increase. We're still short on supplies, of course, so we'll be counting on you to help keep everyone in line. I am second only to Master Goga. Bananas. Grace. So this is the uh, chasm where it all started. Do we have... Yeah, we've already got the light root unlocked that was in that area underground, so... Really no need to go down through that chasm. But we will open this, uh, this shrine here. Ratsumamu. It's the Ratsumamu Shrine. <laughs> it's really a pretty cool technique, the Earthquake. Oh, I can't use it on the balloons. Okay. <laughs> pretty sweet. Let's see. That's going to run us to our time for today. Um, we were successful at getting the Yigi Clan um, sequence of things done. That was really our biggest goal for this trip. We do have a shrine here. We'll pick this shrine up uh, next time we are playing here, which will pro should be tomorrow, as long as things don't mess up the, the stream. So... For those of you watching after the stream, I do want to remind you that we stream these videos live at twitch.tv slash unexpectedly random. We are here Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4, typically. Uh, make sure you're following us on Twitch to join the chaos and check out our streaming schedule for the current lineup. We also have a Facebook and Instagram. Those are the best places to stay up to date with any changes that may occur pertaining to the streaming schedule. And right now our streaming schedule is a little up in the air. Got some things going on that have been throwing off the ideal schedule that we had set but uh anytime there's a change it does get posted on those two platforms so make sure you follow over there to stay in the know we also have a tiktok and a twitter if you're on those platforms and want to follow us that'd be super cool and of course over there on youtube if you guys are enjoying the content and want to help out the channel don't forget to like and subscribe it lets us know that you're having a great time and it really does help out the channel so that is everything i have for this episode and we will catch you next time. Of course, until then, stay random. <laughs>